Okay, so I just trained them up uh, to the tier right below the Swanian Knights. And while at this level, I can't train them up all the way, if I want to, I could probably just train them up on bandits. Or I could probably just train them up on enemy lords, too. Um, okay, so since I have an all-cavalry army, a strategy you can use is to uh, make everyone hold position and then spread everyone out. Um, and I'm not really sure how good this is, but it seems pretty good. So after everyone's spread out, I'll just make everyone charge. We should be able to uh, flank them more easily this way. And we probably won't clump up as much this way. Yeah, this does seem like a pretty good uh, strategy to use. Okay, and now we can upgrade a lot of them. So um, if I ever want to take out a king, I'll just take out my field composition. So I was actually thinking about getting married. And then I talked to Lord S... Et I was calling him Estrock, but I guess it's Etrosk. And he said that his sister, Lady Ilian, would be delighted if I were to pay her a visit. So I guess I'll go see her. Uh, this is her. I would like to profess myself as your most ardent admirer. Oh, that actually worked. Great. Sometimes it'll fail. So then once you start courting, you can visit them from time to time. And then you can earn more relationship points by reciting poems you learned in the taverns. And if you run out of poems, visiting them each time they sin for you gives you one relationship point with them. And basically the higher relationship you have, the more chance that they'll accept your proposal. So I'll try now. Oh, it worked. Okay. Gotta ask this guy now. I wish to marry your sister. Okay, so I pay a dowry. Uh, and now I have to throw a feast since I'm the one who owns this castle. So apparently I'm not able to host a feast unless I'm married. So it looks like we will not be able to do this for a while until we give some of our lords castles so that they can hold a feast. Alright guys, I'm ready to show you the really strong sieging strategy that I talked about before. And this strategy could be considered a little bit cheesy, but I think it's fine. So you want an army of pretty much all archers and maybe some infantry or cavalry at the end. You want to make your archers spread out. So I'm ordering my companions to not shoot and go forward so they can tank with their shields. And basically your archers are going to get a bunch of kills. And if you were to do this for like 2 minutes, you could probably get like 100 casualties to maybe like 20. And after your guys run out of arrows or the enemies stop spawning on the walls, you just back out. And then you can siege again for more ammunition or to make the guys spawn on the walls again. And actually this layout isn't the best for the strategy, but it's still pretty effective. And actually maybe it'd be better if I had my companion shooting as well. Um, this is good for now, so I'm going to back out. 20 to 50, so not the best. Um, and then I can just heal up a little bit. I'm not going to be using the strategy because in another mod called Prophecy of Pandora, you lose renown and honor every time you retreat from a siege. So I want to gain some practice uh, with other strategies. So this time around, we have 10 casualties to their 40. So pretty good. Um, but I'm going to back out for now and focus on a different castle to siege. But overall, I think that showed why this strategy is very effective. Alright, so back to Durin Castle. And even though this is a really hard layout to take, we're not being impeded at all by the Serenid, so we're free to whittle these guys down slowly. It's so annoying when I get headshots uh, that they don't die immediately. So I definitely need to get more power draw. So the casualties were 110 to 90, but now they only have, what, 45 left? So this is extremely good. Ooh. Okay. What? What the fuck is going on? Alright. Uh, I love how I'm getting shit on by these guys. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, this is really stupid. So it seems like they only have two guys left, but we're somehow stuck on the ladder. Yeah, my companions are like stuck in the entryway. Look at this asshole right here. Look at this guy. 
fuck out of the way. Alright, I'm going to defer this one. So it seems that giving the hassle away to a lord in the post-battle screen and deferring gives the same amount in the garrison. But deferring is better because now I can give this village to someone else instead of giving one lord both of these. Alright, got another lord, Lord Rice. And generally, the lords with the higher renown will be better because they will be able to field larger armies. So even though Lord Rias just joined me, I'm going to give him the castle just because he has the highest renown. And I actually did assign AAB to myself for now. I can always assign it to someone else later. And I don't know if the school works, uh, I don't know if the school applies to you if you don't own the village. Let me go test that really quick. So if the schools don't work to your favor when you're not lord of the village, then I don't think it'd be worth it to build them on villages that you're going to eventually give away anyway. So first I'll check up on Mechan. And the relation level seems to be the same as when I left the Kingdom of Nords. So next I'll check Old Bourbon. I also built a school here. And the relation level is the same, so... Yeah, so after that revelation, I'm not going to build the school, but I am going to build the mill and watchtower, and hopefully those will benefit the lords that I give these villages to. Okay, Lord Despin, another honorable lord. So yeah, they're just all joining me. Oh man, I just ran out of food again, and that's one of the most annoying things about having a full party, just always running out of food. So I'm going to attack Barry next, and this might actually take a while because of how many troops they have. And uh, the Kurgan veteran horse archers seem like really good low economy archers, because I don't think it costs a lot to upgrade them. And they're pretty low level, so it's not hard at all to upgrade them with trainer. So they do seem pretty good in sieges. What? How did I take damage there? What the fuck? This guy is really shooting us through this hole? That is bullshit. Ooh, okay. That's kind of unfortunate. Lord Rias is looking strong. 130. Pretty good. He's definitely a very good pickup for me. Um... And I'm actually a bit surprised that no other factions have declared war on me yet, but it's better this way. Oh wow, I actually have 300 days to finish this quest, so that should be plenty of time. So just found a balanced Elite Scimitar in the shop. So these two swords are really similar, but the Elite Scimitar is better on your companions because it doesn't have a thrusting attack. Uh, your companions are not the best with thrusting attacks. It's not like it's that bad to have a thrusting attack on your companions. But if you have the choice, and the sword strength is relatively similar, I would say to opt out of it. Alright, we're in here. These guys kind of just walk forward, so you can get cheap shots in. Sort of. Be better if I had like a 2H weapon. And uh, sometimes they'll expose their back to you, so... Good to just attack from both sides. And pincer. Whoa. Huh. Oh man, wow. Parkour. Whoa. Okay, I guess I'll just sit here and shoot. I have to be a lot more careful in sieges than I usually uh, used to be because of the uh, full damage to the player. So I don't like playing like this in- fuck. I don't like playing like this in field battles, but uh, you know. I just gotta go for the KDA. Wow, what the fuck? This is- this thing's seriously blocking my view? This is ridiculous. Jared is stuck in my shoulder, and I can't see when I'm trying to look down the sights of my bow. This has actually never happened to me before. This is actually ridiculous. It's kind of funny though, so... I guess I'll go melee then. Ooh. Whoa! Wow! 
29 killed, 59 wounded, so surgery coming in clutch. So we're not getting shot at by anyone, but we're still not able to break through. And our archers also aren't able to shoot them that well from there. Instead of just sending my guys into the troop grinder, I'm just gonna go off on them. Oops. And uh, it's easy to get arrows up here. Gotta pick them all up. Sort of. Okay, wait, nah. I just fucked up. I just picked this shit up. Well, I do have this. Okay, it's time for the two-handed. Oh wow, okay, that was awful. Try again. The redemption kill. Nice, so we finally took the town of Barry. And I will be awarding that to myself so I can get more money each week. And you should probably give yourself a few towns um, until you make enough money. And then after that, you can just give them to your lords. Greenwad is joining my kingdom. Um, and I'm actually surprised that no evil lords have joined yet. So I just found some tools and you need this and red velvet to move your court. Uh, and you can find the tools in red velvet at towns, but if not, then if you own a weavery and dye works, so I'm going to go to my weavery and dye works at Amarad, and I'm going to ask my master dyer to keep the, all the goods in the warehouse until I arrive, and then a week from now I should be able to collect velvet from him. Whoa, oh whoa, huge payment. So usually I would just leave the siege tower castles for later or auto calc them, but I'll try to fight this and see how it goes. So in order to siege this, I have to build a siege tower. And I have to wait 48 hours with seven engineering, so that's pretty bad. And this is the siege tower, so it's not going to move forward unless some of your troops are standing near it. And usually uh, the infantry will take that role first. Yeah, it's pretty much just going to be our archers versus their archers until the siege tower gets to the wall and then everyone will charge. As you can see, it's extremely slow. So while sieges are not the best, siege tower battles are terrible. And you know, maybe I should have brought more archers since we have a long time to wait. Maybe if I brought a lot of archers, we could just mow them down while waiting. So uh, we've lost four. So, so the casualties are pretty lame on both sides. And the siege tower is just slowly rolling along. Wow, fuck, man. So yeah, I've literally been sitting here for like the past five minutes and we're still not at the wall yet. And uh, I think most of my guys have run out of arrows, so... Not ideal. What I, what I also could have done is I could have had, you know, some infantry pushing the siege tower along. And then maybe just more infantry just waiting in the back. Waiting outside of fire range, and then once the uh, siege tower went down, I could have just rushed them all forward. And and by that point, I think that the archers on the wall would have run out of arrows, and they're pretty inaccurate from you know long range. So that might have been a good idea. So uh, just gonna go for the archers. They don't shoot my guys. Whoa! All right. Oh man, these guys are trying to do a pincer right here. Look at this. They're actually using tactics. So it looks like mostly melee units left. Wow, that spin move. I wonder if my time wouldn't be better spent just hacking away over there. I'm pretty strong like this, and it's not really that- Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna risk it on a siege tower battle, where if I get knocked out I have to wait a really long time again. It's not worth it. Oh man, we're almost out of troops. Yeah, I have to back out. Or if I get- Yeah, I have to back out. Good. <laughs> Fuck! So, 
apparently some of my tendons have been damaged in the battle and I lost one strength. So I was captured because I let too many of my guys die and then I got knocked out. And I could have just escaped if instead of jumping off that wall, I had just walked away from their troops. I could have just left the battle. Um, I thought I would survive that fall, so that's why I did that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure late into the game, if you get captured, there's like a small percentage chance that you'll lose like one strength or lose one agility. But yeah, usually you should never get caught in a siege unless you misplay pretty hard, which I did. So I can't be too mad about that. It's just my own fault. Things are still going pretty well overall. Just gotta weather the storm, you know?